Hey guys, it's Beta Knights and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. Now, last episode we explored around the Dream Yard a bit, came over here Route 3, I showed you around to the daycare, and we had a very unexpected battle with Chedden, which I really didn't see coming, and actually found out that apparently Team Plasma stole this little girl's Pokemon, and Bianca here is being such a nice Samaritan and trying to help. And in the end, of course, Chedden runs off after the goons, and apparently I'm about to also, so here we go. Now you guys may notice a big change in the quality of my videos today. Uh, there will still be a little lag apparently. Um, I think I have a way to fix that, but I'll check it. But anyway, I'm actually using a different screen recorder. Uh, <laughs> I'm using a different screen recorder, seeing as how uh, Cam Studio, which I was using before to try and record this, kept desyncing everything. Uh, everything would either desync or there would be huge skips in it. It would cut out the my intro completely. So I looked around. And I found out that for this kind of thing, a lot of people use um, what's called BB Flashback, I believe, Blueberry Flashback. So I tried it, and I'm actually using Blueberry Flashback right now because I saw a test and it seemed to run very smoothly for someone. And so far, it's working much, much better than Camp Studio. There's still a bit of lag. I'm going to try and work around that, but so far, I've done a few tests, and it is actually recording much better. Much, much better. Okay, we could avoid that battle. Yeah, you got to repel. Anyway, I'm going to try and avoid some trainer battles here, if I can. Um, and just use them to train off screen, since you guys don't need to see all those battles anyway. There we go. They ran inside here. Beta, your Pokemon's HP is fine, and you're ready to go, right? Yeah, sure, I took a little damage, I guess, but still. And let's go. Okay, and in we go, apparently. Beta, this bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. That child cannot use a Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all your Pokemon. So hand them over to us now. Better yet, we'll just take them. Ah, great. Uh, yeah, you're not getting my Pokemon from me anytime soon. Yeah, basically... Um... I'm gonna try not to be as informative in my LP episodes from now on. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna, like, drop everything and just, like, chat about random crap. No, I probably wouldn't even be capable of doing that, if, even if I tried. What I mean is, most people, unless they're looking for like a walkthrough or a review type thing, which isn't what this is meant for, will most likely be able to get that from something else, and the people who are watching my LP are most likely going to know Pokemon at least, if not this game, at least Pokemon. So I'm only going to introduce stuff that's new to this game maybe, but I'm st don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be giving off Pokemon information for all the wild Pokemon in the different areas. But for the time being, I'm just going to keep it to that, maybe some other details if it's good. But for now, yeah, dude, I beat your butt. Stop whining. But I'm going to just keep it to that. I'm not going to go into full detail on every little thing. It seems like it's taken up too much of the LP. And I want to make this more funny and more personal like Chugga Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun do, since they are big fans of mine. Anyway. What? How can we lose when we have right on our side? Not bad, Beta. Okay, so go return the Pokemon to that girl. You don't need to return it. How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot. There's only two of there's two of you and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you that we are right. So there were more of them. Still, why are Pokemon and robbers acting so self righteous? Beta! We've been friends our whole lives. We've got each other's back when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. Well, someone's angry. At least, the way I did the voice did. Made him seem like that. Anyway, um, this is the first storyline double battle we get into, so that's actually pretty big. So, cool. This is a lot like in Diamond and Pearl and in the remakes for Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, I think ha it happens once. You don't get to control your friend's Pokemon, in this case, Chedden's. Okay, sorry, got a little bit of lag here. But you don't get to control Chedden's Pokemon, you control your own. But he still does fight on your team, so that does help. I really should have had Bramble out instead to 
get him some levels seeing as how he's falling behind a bit. But whatever, what can you do? Nice, take on the first one, fire and water. No, don't fight me! <laughs> anyway, um... I was thinking, in case anyone's been wondering, and I'm sorry, I apologize if I said this before in one of my earlier episodes, because as far as I remember, at least not in any of my successful recordings, I don't think I've talked about this yet, but the actual reason I chose to do Pokemon Y as my LP was, if you'll remember in my first episode, um, I mentioned uh, Kitsune Akane as one of the people who actually made this possible for me to... Uh, start this LP. That was actually because when I was starting, I really wanted to start LPs because Chugga Conroy and especially Nintendo Capri Sun and even Luka Jin, all of them are great influences to me and I really wanted to be able to provide some quality LPs like they do and soon once I get my capture card I will. But Plasma! Why do they always yell at? Anyway. Yeah, you lost some kids. Haven't you learned from any other Pokemon games? The kid is always the most dangerous one. <laughs> Anyway, um, I went up to her because she's actually a very close friend of mine. I asked her what she would like me to LP if I started doing LPs, and she actually said that she would like to see me do Pokemon White, and I figured, okay, I meant to start my Pokemon White anyway since I finished Black, and what better way than to start and wait for my capture card than to do a DS game anyway since that's all I'll probably be able to do. So that basically leads us to where we are. Anyway, let's get on with this. In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Whatever, what a waste of time. Come on, what reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. Uh, excuse me. What do you mean trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get that at all. Like I said, someone's angry. By the voice I give him. We'll give you back the Pokemon. But be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own complicity. Oh yeah, well, you have your eyes closed. So ha. Huh? I don't know where I was going with that. Trainers bring out their Pokemon's strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, Beta, I'll return the Pokemon. Bye, Chedin. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little team switching and use a repel here while I try and get that item. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm trying to get more into doing all these voices. Since it just feels a little strange for me because I usually don't do voices. Ooh! Really gotta show this. Really gotta show this. Good. It's a Pokemon battle. It's kinda bad for the repel, but yeah, this Pokemon Drillber. Um think of those dust clouds kinda like the shaking grass where we saw Adino in the last episode. Um Except in the Dust Clouds, you will only find Drillbur, no matter what, I believe. Later on, you can find its evolution. But occasionally, you'll actually find really rare and really cool items. I'll show that if I ever pick some up, which I pr probably will during this LP. Anyway, Drillbur here is a ground type. Its evolution is one of the best uh, Pokemon in this fifth generation. Competitively and not, its attack is phenomenal, it has a pretty good speed, and its other stats are really good. It's a steel ground type, which is always really good. And, best of all, actually I'm going to try and catch this guy, or this girl. Um, and the cool thing about it is actually, one of its abilities is, I believe, it's called Sand Rush. Ah, oh, come on. During a sandstorm, its speed doubles, so during a sandstorm, its evolution be basically becomes almost un unstoppable. It's phenomenal. <laughs> anyway, I may use this on my team, but probably not since I'm going to be getting another ground type later on on my team that I know for sure. I don't think I'm getting a steel type, but still, I don't think steel would be worth keeping a Pokemon in alone, but eh, we'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to have a pretty bizarre team for white here, so eh. It makes its way swiftly through the soil by putting both claws together and rotating at high speed. Drillbur of the Mole Pokemon. Now, what shall I name you? Mm. Until I can think of a different name and I can change it later, I'm gonna name you... Drilly. Yeah, I know, very creative, isn't it? 
Anyway, while the repel's still going, I'm gonna run over here. You know what I'm Yay, got TM46 Thief. Come on, come on, make it out the door. <laughs> anyway, we can head over here. Uh, by the way, something I forgot to mention before, that trainer up there, breeders like them and rangers, when you find them, I think there's some somewhere in this route, um, they will actually give you usually a berry after you defeat them, which is really good, especially in this game, since unless you connect to the dream world, that is currently the only way to get berries, I believe. So it's worth it. Anyway. Beta, thank you so much. The two of you got our Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have friends like you two. Thank you, mister. Please take these as a thank you present. Yeah, please don't comment on the voice, please. Heal balls, yay. Oh, those are heal balls. They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet of you. I'm going to see this girl on her way. So see you later, Beta. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, heal balls are actually really good if you catch a Pokemon that you try to use. Okay. That was close. That you want to use on your team. Um, because it'll heal them, so it'll save you from having to go all the way to a Pokemon Center just to start using your Pokemon. Uh, hold on. I don't know. Probably don't. Okay, actually, this is, uh, Blitzel, the other Pokemon I met I was trying to mention in yesterday's episode, but I didn't feel like trying to search for one. Um, Blitzel is a very fast Pokemon, has a good attack stat, and its special attack isn't too far behind either. Um, I think its only bad point is that its defensive stats are really not that good. Ooh. Okay. Um, so it can't take many hits at all. It'll die easily. But it could hit pretty hard if you use it right. I used one in my Pokemon Black team and I didn't regret it. So I guess it's all, again, like, however you choose. And here's Chadden again. And this time I know he's not going to battle us. I know it this time. Beta, stop. That, du that dark tall grass over there. Every now and again, two Pokemon will pop out at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful in the darker grass. I'm heading on to Nacreen City. Yeah, what he was saying is what I was going to explain. This dark grass here, um, it is actually different from the grass up here. It'll still shake and have Pokemon like Idino and everything. But the thing about it is, you'll usually find Pokemon more often. Sometimes you'll actually get in a wild double battle, which is really nifty. Yes, I said nifty. And other than that, um, you actually do, also, I think when it's shaking, you have a chance of finding, um, the evolved forms of the Pokemon the in the route you're in. Like, if I remember correctly, you'll still mostly find Audino when it shakes, but you also have a chance of finding Pokemon like Pidove's Evolution, I can't recall its name at the moment, sorry. Um, or, uh, I think Watchog, which is Patrat's Evolution. I'm going to try and get past this girl, because even though she wanders around, she actually does battle you if she catches you in her line of sight, which is really cheap. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I'll be battling these guys uh, when I come in later. Um, I'll be battling them off-screen for some experience, so you guys don't have to watch me go through all that. Um, I don't think there's too much more importance out here. Again, there's these people in here. Hello, trainer. I think potions are important for a trip. Yes, they are. I should have bought more Pokeballs. A Pokemon I wanted to catch just came out, and I missed it. Yeah, that'll happen. There are a few people that usually say that. Hi, I have some questions for you. If you want to play, which you prefer, outside or at home? Mm, if I want to play, like physically, outside. I see, I see. Which one are you more interested? The thing everyone knows? Or the thing nobody knows? The thing nobody knows. Personal secret knowledge is awesome. Oh, really? I'd say you are very curious. Yes, I am a very curious Pokemon. Did I just call myself a very curious Pokemon? Wow. Okay, um, fail aside. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we're cutting it close here again, so... Like last time, let's see, this is Beta Nights for Let's Play Pokemon White. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you liked it, subscribe. I'm updating every day, unless I have more editing or hardware, ish hardware software issues. Um, subscribe, comment, like, dislike, give your honest opinions, I appreciate them all, and I hope to hear from you guys after this episode's done. So, I will catch you all later. Have a good day. Or night, or morning, or whenever it is. Bye-bye.